Alright guys, so now we're going to be making this amazing scene which you see on your screen right now. So if I just play it, we basically um, have this forest in, in which we have a door. And this door leads to another sort of a cave-like thing in which we have a chest. So it's a pretty dramatic scene. It's a pretty um, interesting scene. So right now you're going to see that some of these plants in the background are changing. So we're going to fix that. Don't worry about that. I can just type this command foliage.force LOD space zero now if i just type that command in you're going to see that the plants are going to be fine yes yeah, so that's uh basically unreal engine trying to switch lod's for better performance but right now we don't really care about performance we all we care about is how good this looks so you're going to see it looks pretty amazing so what we're going to be doing is that firstly we're going to be starting out with um the first step which is going to be to block out the basic scene and to block out the basic structure of the scene and then we're going to be working on um, adding the assets, adding the foliage, making this look realistic. Uh, but yeah, let's start with a brand new level. So I'm just going to go to file, new level. Now you can just create a brand new Unreal Engine project, or you can use an existing one. You can just create a new empty level in that, and we can start working on this. So once we are inside an empty level, I'm just going to open this. Right, what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to go to window, environment light mixer, and let's just create a the basic um, lighting setup. And let's press Control S so that we can save this. I'm just going to name it um, Door in Door Forest SS. I think that should be fine. Let me just go ahead and turn on real time capture in my skylight. So this is just going to give us some more realistic shadows and it's going to make the scene look a lot better. So what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to add a landscape first. And I'm not really going to be worrying about sculpting anything. We just want a floor. Um, and right now we're just worried about um, the basic structure of the scene. If I just, if I just um, reduce the speed of my camera to something like 2, I think that should be fine. Now let's add a cube. Let's start adding shapes and let's um, basically create the whole layout. So I'm just going to be scaling this down like that. Something like that. Scale it up. Uh, let's move it up, and I'm, I'm also gonna have to scale it up as well. Now obviously, the scene, uh, the basic outline of the scene, that totally depends upon you and what kind of um, look you're going for. However, I would recommend you to actually come up with your own idea and don't copy mine because that's not really gonna benefit your creativity. Let me just do that, and let's take these up up as well. Something like that. Actually, I'm just going to have one of these. And, we, and I'm going to just scale it up like that. Something like that. And that is going to be our door. And I think that... Actually, let me just extend this sort of. Let me duplicate this. And let's rotate it. Like that. So that we basically know that we have to... Um, sort of extend that as well on that side let me just do another one we can obviously make changes later on but right now this is just a sort of like a rough outline of our scene and it's going to be very helpful for us when we are adding assets and i'm just going to select all of them and let me duplicate them press alt on your keyboard hold alt on your keyboard and, and then just um basically drag it if you can rotate or move smoothly, then you have these turned on, these snapping turned on. If I just turn on the snapping, for example, you're going to see that it's going to snap to increments. And we don't really want that in this. We want to have a free scene because obviously nature is not symmetrical. And if, if your scene is perfectly symmetrical, then that is sort of a red flag. Um, and it's not really going to look that good. So I think that should be a good first layout. And actually the inside of the scene, we're going to be working on it later on. Um, because yeah, I don't think we're really going to need a layout, uh, uh, need a, an outline for that because we can just copy um, the assets which are on the outside. And it's going to be pretty simple. All right, so let's start with adding the assets. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be starting with a rock. Um, and so for the rock, I'm simply going to go to add, add quick still content. And then we can simply start adding assets. Let me just wait for it to open. All right, so I'm simply going to go to environments, uh, this collections and then environment. And then I can just simply go to maybe natural. And then we're just going to be browsing this. Now, obviously, you can choose whichever one you want. For example, if you want um, 
a cave which is which has assets like this for example like stone assets um and maybe um it has a desert wipe to it then you can do that as well um actually you know what instead of going with the exact one which i did before let's go for something else because the one which i used before was um if i can just find it, i think it was no not this not this one um let me just find that i just want to show you guys uh if for example any one of you want to make that exact one then you can however again i would not recommend you to do that i would recommend you to use your own creativity um was it yeah it was this one tundra i think that's what it's pronounced uh so the main asset which i used was um where to go yeah it was this one i think tundra rocky ground so the way i used this was simply by adding it in our scene um and i'm just gonna turn this filter off and just simply by dragging this dragging this into our scene and then you can basically just go ahead and start placing it and rotate it and just place it to basically cover up the whole scene and that's all there is to it to be honest it's not really hard it's um it's just a little time consuming and it's uh it requires creativity so that's something which i would recommend you guys to practice on and then you can just simply duplicate it oops you can simply press alt and duplicate it and obviously be sure to um scale it up or scale it down or you can even rotate it so that it doesn't really look um very repeated of course and even if it doesn't look good even if for example this doesn't really blend in well don't worry about that because we are going to be adding foliage later on which is going to cover basically all of this so yeah we just need a basic um outline to paint our foliage on so yeah that's basically it and so instead of using this one i'm just going to go with another collection let's um go for something else so for example if let's say if this time we want something like a sandstone vibe i think that should be good um so the main asset which i'm going to use is how about we use this one let's try adding that and so obviously you can use multiple assets so maybe i'm going to use that as well let's place that in let's see how large it is okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm simply going to be uh yeah i think that should be fine that should be pretty good so let me just import a few of these assets and then we're just going to start painting uh start creating our whole scene let me just drag this in so i'm just going to download and add them uh, obviously if you don't have your, have them downloaded then i would recommend you to just set your quality to medium or something like that uh, if your computer is pretty fast and you can uh, you have a really high download speed then you can go for high quality or maybe even nanite uh, nanite is obviously the best option uh, it gives you the best performance and the best quality as well however it is a pretty large file so you're going to need a very um fast internet connection if you want to add this right so there's that um and i think we're good with this i think four assets should be more than enough be sure to save your project press save all and now we can simply go ahead and start um working on the scene so what i'm going to do is simply i'm just going to drag this up and rotate it approximately 90 degrees maybe something like that scale it up of course because obviously the larger your assets are the less assets you're going to have to add and that's going to be uh time efficient And so if if some of your outline is visible don't worry about that because we are going to be deleting all these shapes later on these are just for our own guide and our own um so that they help us actually i'm just going to be placing something like that move it up like that because it's sort of making that line right that should be good and it's blending in pretty well as well the only thing which i am going to do is i'm going to bring this forward so that it blends in even better perfect um so now what i can do is i can simply go ahead and maybe add another asset now if you use one asset over and over again then it might look a little repeated so i would recommend you to use multiple assets um Now this might be a little abstract of a scene because obviously we are going to be adding foliage on top of this and usually 
um sands usually this type of rock does not have foliage on top of it so yeah it is going to be a little abstract and i mean that's the power of unreal engine right you can basically do whatever you want and that's what i like about it <clears throat> it's not important for you to be um physically accurate as long as you know what you're doing of course just don't um do something which is extremely unrealistic and you should be good to go let's add it right there so this is basically just like lego just putting pieces together and there's really not much not that much to it and it's a pretty fun pro uh, fun process as well and I think that should be fine that's where our do door will go and okay so I think we're good All right let's add this one somewhere there obviously I'm gonna have to scale it up quite a lot that should be fine and perfect so now what we can do is that we can simply basically duplicate these and we can move them around because all of our assets have been used up and now all there is left all, all that's left is to just fill the whole scene with these assets so i'm just gonna i'm gonna do exactly that and let me just you know what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm simply gonna be duplicating this Let's rotate it and let's scale it up quite a lot. And scaling up assets, assets is also going to be time efficient and it's going to save up time because obviously the larger your assets are, the more space they're going to cover. And the larger your assets are, the less assets you're going to have to add. So obviously that's going to be time, time efficient. And let me duplicate this one right here. Move it up and let's rotate it you can even use uh the other views if you want for example if i just go ahead and i'm just gonna move this down if i just go ahead and go to the top view you're gonna see that we can add our assets like that as well we can position our assets using the top view so that's another option which you have okay so i think that is fine perfect um so this part of the cave is done how about the other one gonna rotate this like that and let me move it forward let me just duplicate this and scale it up like that and I'm just gonna be rotating this something like that and again I'm gonna scale it up just to sort of break up that uniformity and ideally you should never have two exactly same assets in your scene because if for example i do that yeah that's that's the perfect example for example if i have something like that you're gonna see that it looks very obvious that for example these uh crevices right here are basically exactly the same as this these one uh and so it looks very repeated and that's something which you want to avoid at all costs so just be sure to rotate it be sure to scale it and just add that sort of um non-uniformity to it if that makes sense so i think that should be fine let me just move it back a little bit and make sure to cover all the space 